What is up, everybody? Um, FHRC Brony here. And um, I gotta tell you, I had the most tiring bike ride ever. I rode my bike to from, from Bellflower all the way to Los, Eastern Los Angeles. And that took me about two hours uh, just to get this one for a guy because he was asking for a trade uh, and stuff. But anyways, I got this here. This is a new brushless system that I, per well, quote unquote, purchased. But this, this is more of a trade. But uh, this is a XTM Racing brushless power system. Um, short course truck. Uh, it's a four pole 550 brushless motor. And uh, now I, sh I know, I know. You guys said you may heard me say that. I mean, I'm pretty much going to be sticking to Castle, but I figured, well, why not try something a little bit different here. So, and this one's a little bit cheaper than the Mamba Max Pro that I uh, originally owned. That doesn't work anymore because that caught on fire. But I still got the motor with me, I'll show you that right now. There's the motor, it's still working fine. This is a uh, 5700, um, where is that label, oh here it is. It's a 5700 kV motor, um, 10 cell to 3S lipo at the max. So, pretty good motor for a um, full four pole. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be unboxing this. Before I do, um, this one is originally open, so it's pretty much an open box, slightly used. The reason why he wanted to give it away because he he had a, a sl I think a slash two wheel drive. I think he told me that, but it it belonged to his son. And he told me that it was too fast for him. He 60 miles an hour and stuff like that. And now you got to understand that. Keep in mind, you know, sometimes little kids cannot handle that much power on the car. It's just like putting a V8 inside a Honda S2000 because, you know, it, it's hard to control. But anyways, I'm going to do an unboxing. And yeah, here we go. This way, there we go. And uh, I think this is, um, I can tell this came from hobby people because the labeling is right there. And I can tell the printing is from hobby people. And unfortunately, speaking of hobby people, they are out of business now. So the only one that's available is in Fountain Valley, which is 15 minutes away from where I live. Uh, this one's just basically talking about the, the stuff. That you basically cautions and stuff you shouldn't do and what you can what you can do to avoid it. Uh, let's go take a look at the ESC. Uh, I get this out, man. Hard to. I don't want to pull any wires. Let me pull it over here. Okay, that's a bit better. All right, here we go. This I think I don't know for sure, but. I think this is the same ESC that was that looks like from Hobby King. I don't know. No, don't call me on that. But uh, let's see, man, they really packed it down here just to get. All right. So here's the motor. It's a four pole, five fifty brushless system, uh, brushless motor. So, uh, pretty torquey motor, I should say. I don't know the KV on this one. I think it will say here on the on the thing here. Factory wire, water, so it's waterproof. The 3S LiPo compatible. Fits on 10 scale two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive uh, trucks. I want to get this one. <laughs> the, the start guide. So I don't know the... The KV on this one, so yeah, I'll take a look at the. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. It's a uh, it's a four pole, thirty three hundred KV, and that when I used to have the Castle Sidewinder um, SET combo, it was a thirty eight hundred KV motor. So I don't know for sure since I'm sort of new to brushless systems if that ESC can handle a. 5700 kV motor like this one um, I know for a fact uh, well not that for sure but 
Um, uh, I know f uh, for sure that I'm not going to put this thing on this ESC because I'm, I'm a bit worried that this thing will burn it up because I'm dealing with a higher KV motor compared to a one that's not that strong. So um, just to wrap it up this unboxing, we got the, the instruction manual, we got the motor and the ESC. And the next up, I'm going to be showing you guys my uh, like a tutorial how to how to change from brush to brushless for or for those of you who want to upgrade to brushless system. So yeah, that will be coming up later after this video. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, um, by the way, this one is using Dean's connector, and I don't have to worry about it because I'm going to be using a Venom lipo, and the Venom lipos. This is I I actually like this lipo, a battery. It's the fact that the connectors, man, taking these things off is a real pain. But anyways, uh, these, there's these, this, this is not a, a full connector. Uh, let me go get my, my Altoids box where I keep my tools in. And the parts. Uh, what I like about the Venom. Venom LiPo batteries is the fact that it has universal connectors so that means I can use the EC3 uh, connector that came from you know Horizon Hobby um, or I can use this one which is a Dean's connector and that will fit on that one and then currently on this one has the Traxxas connector so I'm gonna swap that out and put the the Dean's connector in so it can fit on that one so yeah that's pretty much it guys so Hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing, and I'll see you guys later.